Hey friends, you'd agree if we said that oxygen is a must to survive, right? But do you know from where the world gets most of its oxygen? The ocean, that's right. Did you also know that oceans absorb 50 times more carbon dioxide than our atmosphere, which in turn helps sustain life on Earth? If that's shocking, let's tell you that these oceans are also dying because of pollution and other human activities. And if oceans aren't healthy, then life on Earth may just vanish. Scary, right? You know, we always have a way to help you from such a disaster. World Ocean Day is celebrated on June 8th every year in attempt to protect them and sustainably use marine resources. So stay with us till the end to learn how oceans are being destroyed as well as what you can do to help save them. Are you ready? Fabian Costo says that without water, our planet would be one of the billions of lifeless rocks floating endlessly in the vastness of inky black void. The oceans are the lungs of our planet provide oxygen for breathing, a major source of food and medicine, and a critical part of the biosphere. But why are they in a sad state today? Number 1. Overfishing is draining the life from the water. It can cause the extinction of certain species while threatening the survivability of any predators that depend on those species as a source of food. Number 2. Killing for fins. The ocean's most important predators being killed. That too, just for fins. Did you know at least 100 million sharks are killed each year for their fins? That's right. Number 3. Ocean acidification. It is a serious problem. The basic physics behind acidification is that ocean absorbs CO2 through natural processes. But at the pace we are pouring it into the sky by burning fuels, the ocean's pH balance is decreasing to the point that certain marine life are struggling to survive. Number 4 dead zones. Now if you don't know what a dead zone is, watch our video that will help you understand. On that note, polluting the ocean is a major issue that makes them dead. Knowing what we dump into the oceans is important to be aware of our role in creating areas of lifelessness in an ecosystem upon which we depend. If you already feel this video adds value to your knowledge, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Moving on. Now you know how oceans are dying, but is there a chance to save them? Of course! Here are some ways you can help save the ocean in small steps. Number 1. Use less or no plastic and do not dispose them off in water bodies. Number 2. Help clean beach areas to avoid the ocean being contaminated. Number 3. Respect marine life and their life processes. Number 4. Burn less fuel, dispose of waste correctly to help decrease the amount of carbon monoxide produced that harm the oceans. Number 5. Learn and update yourself more often about what is happening with the oceans and marine life because knowledge is power to act in the right way. Can you think of more ways we can save oceans? Then let us know in the comments down below. We need to learn to care for and safeguard the ocean by learning how everything in it is related. Not only for the fish, but for ourselves too. With that, we hope you see the importance of the ocean in our lives for today and a better tomorrow. And lastly, one way you can help the ocean the right way is by sharing this video with your friends and making them aware too.